but Elohim is Shofei, he's judge, meaning when it comes to Ratzon and Chayim, listen, when it comes to Ratzon and Chayim, listen, he puts down one and sets up another, there's no way around it, we are not all equal in the kingdom, that's a lie, get that thinking out of your head, we are not all equal in the kingdom, some people in this room walk in a favor that other people in the world and other people even in the body of Yeshua don't walk in. Once you understand that, you've got something to pursue. Once you understand that, you have something to strive for. Once you, once you understand that, it is something that you can attain and run the race and, and, and reach for the mark of the high calling of, of Yahweh in Messiah Yeshua. Yahweh. And press forward to the mark of the high calling of Yahweh in Messiah. I mean, we're all created equal. Yeah, we're all created equal when it comes to skin color and when it comes to race and ethnicity. It doesn't matter where you came from. We're all created equal. But we're not all in the same ratzon, in the same chain, in the same favor being raised up in our life. We all have different levels and measures of what? Chain. Now look at this. Grasp this. Religion says, gold is not a respected person. <laughs> now what does that mean? What does that mean? That means you can chase chain like I can chase chain. But that doesn't mean that all believers are what? Equal in the kingdom. Yahweh says, he says, he who knew his master's will and performed it will have many rewards because the fire will try it in that day. And that which is what? Hay, silver, and stubble will be what? Burned away. But that which is gold and silver, what? Will prevail, will, will be sustained. So at the Bema Seed of Moshiach, we will receive rewards based on what we've done in the body as believers. That's a reward seed. It's not a salvation bima. It's a bima. It's a distribution center of reward. Yes, yes. You're not going to get the same reward as your neighbor, and he's not going to get the same reward as you. It depends on your obedience to holiness and to righteousness. How far were you willing to take this thing? Were you willing to tell him what you were supposed to? Were you willing to tell her what you were supposed to? Were you, will were you, were you willing to tell your spouse to stop working? Were you, were, were you willing to be the priest of your home? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Getting deep now. Based on your actions, you will receive your, your reward at his bima, his distribution center, and you will receive favor or chen, or kavis, or tavuta, the tovness, the full tovness, his goodness, which is also part of his favor. You can't divorce his goodness from his favor. You can't divorce his mercy from his favor. You can't divorce his compassion from his favor. You can't divorce the Ruach HaKadosh from his favor. It's all in Hebraic terms. It's not a this subsequent to this, subsequent to that, the Old Testament this, the New Testament that. No, 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 no. You enter it, it's a cloud that encompasses you and follows you and because his mercy and his goodness will follow me all the days. It'll follow you, Chaim, but will follow you all the days of your life. His purpose, listen, his will, is to consider you over others in his plans and purposes. We don't, religion doesn't like that. Fox doesn't like that. MSNBC doesn't like that. The Evening News with Bob Schieffer doesn't like that. The evening, the evening news of Peter Jennings, who is now deceased, doesn't like that. Amen. Well, we're all children of Yahweh. That's a lie. We're all children of Adam until we're born again. Once we're born again, we go, we're translated from the Adam's family into Yeshua's family. Amen. But before you get transferred from the first Adam into the second, uh, second Adam, you are a card-carrying member of the Adam's family. And Yah knows you, you cannot receive any kind of favor being in the Adams family except the favor to be in the book of life. Everybody born of a woman is in the book of life. No big deal. <laughs> well, Rabbi, the Bible says <laughs> we're in the book of life. You know what that is? That means you were born. The trick is to get out of the book of life and get into the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Amen. Exactly. Right. You said it. That's right. That's the trick. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. So favor is Yahweh's manifest destiny, his will, his ratzon, to consider you over others in his plans and purposes. He could have used anybody to start the Montgomery boycott 
in the bus boycott in 1955, but he favored Rosa Parks. And through her favor, Dr. King entered. And through his, her, his favor, Dr. Ralph Abernathy entered. And through his favor, Coretta Scott King entered. And before you knew it, a whole nation was turned upside down and forced to confront its prejudice, its hatred, and its, Ill, and, and its sanctioned segregation of the human race. They all walked into her favor. That's why it's important under what spiritual covering you're under and who you listen to. Be careful about backyard rabbis that sit, that sit and teach on the tomato plants. They have no call, they have anointing, they went, but they were never sent. Well, Rabbi, I just got to make the rounds. I've got to just spread my greatness everywhere, you know. I want to bless everybody with my talents. That's why you're confused. We assemble together to stir each other up to mitzvah, to good deeds. Yaakov, listen. It says here, he, in order, and don't get this in your spirit, in order to show you chen, I'm talking about the biblical chen, forget about what religion has taught us. In order to re receive and to inherit the biblical chen, we've got to realize that it's not an automatic thing with salvation. It doesn't come with salvation. Salvation is a manifestation of his chen, just like the Ruach HaKodesh is a manifestation of his chen, right? But it is not the end in itself. It is not automatic. It's got to be pursued. Watch this. In order to give you favor, notice, set you up, look at the end of verse 7. Tehillim 75. In order to set you up and raise what? What does it mean to set up? To raise chen, right? Isn't that what it means to set you up? Raise chen? Raise favor? He's got to put someone down. Now see, you don't have to put them down. You don't have to make yourself feel better by putting others down verbally or experientially. Yahweh will put them down for you if you pursue his favor, his chen. That's why chen is the most important thing we can have because when we get chen, we get all of Yahweh. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. When we have chen, there's nothing that he withholds from you. Chen. Chen. Favor. Raising chen. Now, we'll see this in a second. Esau, he put down. Yaakov, he favored. Yahweh does play favorites. Rachel, Yahweh plays favorites. See, that's the Yahweh of the Bible. Do you want to make Yahweh in your image, or do you believe you're made in his image? The Yahweh of the Bible. I don't know about the Yahweh of, of any religion, but the Yahweh of Scripture Man, if you don't think he plays favorites, then you will never be one of his favorites. The question is, how do I become one of his favorites? That's the trick here. That's the question. Did Yeshua manifest Chaim? Out of thousands of Judeans, how many did he choose? Twelve. Out of those twelve, he favored three. Those three saw manifestations of favor that <laughs> the other nine never saw. Are you getting this? Well, yeah. they're all, oh, brother, I thought they were all equal. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. But not when, not the Yahweh of Scripture. He plays favorites. And you and I better learn, listen, to live with that recognition if we desire to begin to seek his favor as we must recognize that his favor exists in the first place. How can you seek a greater increase of favor if you don't believe his favor exists in the first place, apart from what religion tells you is favor? What religion tells you is favor is not favor. It's part of the Hebrew package called favor. You follow me? Salvation, the Ruach HaKodesh, the gifts of the Ruach, uh, advantages at work, advantages in the world. All these things, promotion, the inclination of Yahweh to approve of us, the advantages he gives us over someone or something, manifestations of his kindness, many acts of his graciousness, all the different privileges he bestows upon us, is part of Yahweh playing favorites. Does that blow your mind? They didn't tell you that in Sunday school, did they? That Yahweh plays favorites, but he does. He does. So the trick is not to deny that the favor to be chased and pursued, the trick is to be one of those favorites. We want Yahweh's favor. So in order to seek Yahweh's favor, you must recognize that it exists. 
unless we do, wind up not pursuing it by denying the fact that it is what? Available. That's right. There is no respecter of persons with Yahweh. You know what that means? There's no respecter of persons with Yahweh. That means anybody can receive favor, but not only.